So you can see here, there's no road in front of this wheel here. This is just down to the river. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. We There's don't nothing lose. up here to snatch block to, which would yeah. be ideal because we'd want to pull the trailer this way, but there's no way to do that. Not the sketchiest thing we've done. That is true. Good morning guys. It is the last day of our Oregon trip. This has been a pretty awesome campsite. Oregon's been like way more than I could have expected. I had no idea that it was this crazy. Now go more passenger. Stop. I can't see how much ground is there. That's the skinniest spot right in front of you too. Nope, 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 nope. No more. This is um, like, there's no road there in front of the tire. You got, a, you got a receiver? I got a receiver. Thing? I'll grab it. Okay. Brian's got a winch. But, uh, well, he's going to put something in the receiver. No, but we need to pull sideways, right? Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. So there's nothing to snatch block off of. Yeah, and just release it. Just let him walk it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the only thing we can do. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about going forward. Yeah, I think it's all right, so the situation here is we're on this uh, road on the side of a cliff here on the river. In Casey's trailer is uh, sliding off. There's no road in front of it. So we're gonna try and winch it back. So you can see here, 
there's no road in front of this wheel here. This is just down to the river. Do we have a recovery strap handy? We're gonna have to go through the receiver because there's no, there's nothing to recover to hook no, onto. No pin. The, so standard receiver. Yeah. The pin needs to be about here. Like it's it's so far back. Like there's nothing solid enough other than. We're gonna have to put it through there and around. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. We There's don't nothing lose. up here to snatch block to, which is, would yeah. be ideal because we'd want to pull the trailer this way, but there's no way to do that. Yeah. Normally in BC, we're, we're dodging trees. Yeah. <laughs> we can just wrap around a tree somewhere. So, okay. okay. There we go. Get okay. a soft shackle. Oh. Not totally sure how the, uh, I'm not totally sure how the trailer is going to react to being pulled. Every time I go anywhere with Casey, he drives off the side of a cliff. It's, it's getting ridiculous, to be honest. <laughs> well, look at the shirt. And then he had wearing. to bring a trailer. Yeah. We've got uh, we got Ryan up here on as much of an angle as possible, so that we can pull the trailer kind of back this way. Okay. Stop for a sec. Stop. 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 I don't know. It's coming up. We're going to try and use a jack to lift up the rear end and then push the trailer over onto the trail. Dog in here? No. We would need a, a long strap around yeah. the rock, yeah. snatch block, saw shackle, and then the line for strap. strap. I got a long strap. Easy. New plan snatch block off a rock up on the hill. Should work. Yeah, we're gonna make huh. not the sketchiest thing we've done. That is true. <laughs> Another day in paradise. Another day in paradise. Stop. Stop. It's going good. Okay, a little bit, alright? Yeah. Keep going. Good, good, good. Stop. That's good. Okay. Uh, Little driver. Yeah. Brakes. Little driver. Good. Driver. Yeah, straighten out. Good. Looking good. All right, trailer's through. I'm probably gonna jump in this river because I am dying, it is hot out here. All right guys, after that uh, crazy recovery, pulling Casey's trailer, from falling into this river, we decided we needed to fall into the river. <laughs> with, with no hope of recovery. <laughs> so we're gonna cool down a little bit here after that and then we're gonna go. We're gonna drive through it. Right across the way. river and carry on on this trail. This is uh, this is my favorite part of the trip so far right now. Yeah, this is a good trail. And right some great people. We met uh, Eric from yeah. Southern Oregon here. Yep. And thanks for so helping today. Absolutely. That's deeper than it looks.
man, that Eric guy was like super nice. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna hook up with him. He's got some good ideas for coming out here. Yeah, he seems tough. Too. He's a battalion chief for or fire battalion chief. Yeah. And a subscriber, so extra points. Yeah, Eric knew who we were as soon as he saw my truck and he kind of put two and two together and figured everything out. He's like, is Sean here? Is Casey up there? And I'm like, yeah. found our way out of the canyon and now we're on some kind of uh, main dirt road here making our way out towards town where we're gonna refuel before we go find camp we have about uh, 22 kilometer range for fuel right now which is uh, less distance than it is to the gas station but uh, Ryan has an extra jerry can Alright guys, we made it out of the canyon, found ourselves a nice spot to camp for the night on top of this mountain. Sun setting. We're going to head out in the morning, so this is going to be the end of this trip. Thanks for sticking around. We're headed to Overland Expo Pacific Northwest next, so stick around for that. Got lots more stuff coming with the new truck. It did great on its first run out. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys next week. Alright guys, we've just arrived at the Expo grounds. I am in the vendor check-in line, which seems to be moving very slow, but hopefully we'll be in soon. And hopefully they let me in because I don't have a pass. Where are they supposed to get you into though? In the vendor area. Inside? Yeah. The truck's supposed Nobody's to be Nobody's getting inside.